It is the video we have all seen uh, many times now. It certainly captured the world's interest. The original video creeping up on 20 million views on YouTube, if you can believe that. And it's raised all kinds of, of, of really big questions about humans and wildlife. But so far, one question that nobody really has been able to answer is, what does that little girl's family have to say about this? Well, today, we got an answer. Tina Lovegreen was able to track them down for us. And Tina, I mean, you watch the video, the first thing you worry about is, is that little girl okay? Did we get an answer to that? Certainly, and, and there is good news. Uh, I spoke to the father today, and he says that she's doing okay. Now, we've agreed not to share his first name to protect the girl's identity, but Mr. Lau told me that his six-year-old does have a wound on her lower body. It's about two inches by four inches in size. She was rushed to BC Children's Hospital immediately after the incident where she was prescribed anti Antibiotics. Now, bacteria in sea lions' mouths can cause a specific infection, so the family has been in touch with the Vancouver Aquarium right. in case they need any other specific treatment. Yeah, and I remember on yesterday's program, we actually spoke with a marine mammal trainer who said that very thing, who's, and who said if it goes untreated, that's a very, very bad thing. Uh, the person who jumps in mm -hmm. after her, pulls her out of the water, who was yeah. that? Well, that was the, uh, the girl's grandfather, and uh, he's been credited for saving her life with his quick action. He's the man in the blue or uh, gray shirt who jumped into the water almost as soon as the girl was snatched by the sea lion. Have a listen. If he had a one or two second thought about that, my girl could be gone by then. That reaction is, it makes him a hero. Only thing that I care is, God, she's safe. God, I didn't miss anyone i didn't i didn't miss out anyone from my family at that moment i could have gone organizing funeral by now other than doing interview also worth noting the grandfather came out shaken and soaked but otherwise unscathed wow so i mean i i, I gotta ask the question what actually happened here because i mean moments before the sea lion mm -hmm. actually grabs the girl we see the sea lion nipping at the girl, right? And there have been all sorts of questions about, you know, was the family letting her get too close? What, right. what happened on that front? Did you get details on that? Well, you know, this, that's the thing. Since the story broke on Saturday, the video has gone viral, as you mentioned, and the story has made international headlines. But we're also, uh, we also heard from people and experts who weighed in to say, you know, many of them slamming the family for what happened to the girl. And that's been the most frustrating part for the family because they say they want to set the record straight about what happened. They say they weren't feeding the animal, they weren't taking pictures of it, they were just on a stroll, noticed a crowd, and stopped to take a closer look at the sea lion. My daughter ran to the front and tried to see the, see the sea lion, you know, in a, in a, closer, in a closer look. If you are saying that um, the, the girl was staying too close with the wild animal, I agree. I strongly agree. A lesson learned by this family and hopefully by others, Andrew. I got, well, hopefully. But, and, <laughs> and then in the following days, I mean, we saw all sorts of people making their way out to those very same docks, trying to get pictures of the sea lion, and it, the spectacle continues. But uh, there you have it. Good work tracking down the family. Good to hear their side of the coin. Tina, thanks. You're welcome.